If you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is an I Love Unicorns and Mermaids reading. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. It's raining out there. <laughs> so, you know, going to do some readings, I guess. Uh, I have the I Love Unicorns and I Love Mermaids decks. But we're going to start out with the Things cards. Okay, so what's going on with these cards bring up today? Okay. just want to go through the Things cards, like, twice and see what comes out. These cards are all pre-shuffled, so, you know. And who knows if this is going to go into a part two. I don't... Oh. All right, so what do we got starting out here for whoever came to the video, you know? Whoa. So that was one round. Let's do another. What do we have for the person who came to this video? What kind of message or what kind of story, right? What kind of story do we have for whoever came to this video? Oh, okay, okay. Get this one out. All right. <clears throat> Just gonna put those back over there. All right. <clears throat> So, wow, it's so moist in the air right now, you know, I'm just going to relight this, just because I want to, I got candles up here, but, so, just put it in the candle. I'm wearing a flannel because, you know, <laughs> it's rainy out there. All right. So things you would have done differently if you were Harry Potter. I saw that movie a long time ago, but I don't really remember it too much. I saw it once, you know, I didn't, uh, and, and it was a long time ago. So I don't know. What do you think? What would you have done differently? Right? <laughs> Things you are not allowed to do. Gosh, so many things. You know? All these laws out here we're not allowed to do, right? Not allowed to break the law. Even though sometimes the law breaks the law too, though. But, you know, that's another story. Things that don't work anymore. You know, past relationships, past lifestyles. Um, things like that. That's for me, though. You gotta, you guys gotta think of something for you. You know what I'm saying? This is interactive, yeah. Things you don't like to do but have to. Deal with the rain. You know? Uh, I like to follow the good weather, but you know what? We do hit rain once in a while, but now that we got the trailer, it's different, so it's nicer. Um, it was cool before. We weren't getting wet or anything, but it's, I have more space now, you know? So what would what uh, things do you uh, you don't like to do but have to? Okay, things you wish you were allowed to do. Whoa, look, things you don't like to do but have to. Things you wish you were allowed to do. So you know what? Um, I feel like you know. Okay, well let's answer this. You wish you were not, you wish you were allowed to do. Okay, things you, I wish I was allowed to just travel to every state or country I wanted to without a passport because I don't have one yet. I have to get one. <laughs> and I know it's a hassle to get one. So that's something, um, you know, but uh, what about you? So anyways, this is what I'm thinking when I see, it's these three cards right here. I'm seeing here that somebody, they might be in jail uh, they, they have to go. They don't want to go, but they have to. And uh, freedom. 
so maybe someone's under house arrest or this is just one thing that popped into my head because those three cards came out. That's trippy, right? All right. I don't know. Let's just, you know, let's keep it moving. <clears throat> I'll roll up my sleeves here. <laughs> All right. So this is two decks. This is two playing card decks, okay? This is a cardamancy. So we're going to find out what these cards, what messages do the unicorns and the mermaids have? What kind of story is going to come out of these? All right. Okay, there's two cards. We have the seven of cups and the two of swords. <laughs> How funny. Seven of cups represents options, right? So somebody's got to make a decision with that two of swords right there. Two of swords represents making a decision. So somebody out here has an option, has a lot of options, and it's time for them to make a decision is what's going on here for someone, right? Um, things that you don't like to do but have to. You got to make a decision, right? Things you wish you were allowed to do. Just let this pass and not have to worry about it anymore, maybe. I don't know. We have the Ten of Wands and the five of swords okay so this is also telling me right here that this is a big burden on someone's back because you know it, it may have been built on lies some sort of deception right and this is why somebody wants to make a decision on the options but the options that someone wants to choose whatever option that is it's burdensome because there were lies involved here right? So somebody is realizing what the best choice is for them. They're going to make a choice, but they know that they're going to have to, you know, deal with some burdens and some past lies. Okay. What's at the bottom of the deck? Unicorns are awesome. I am awesome. Therefore I am a unicorn. This is the knight of wands, right? This is someone who's in and out, right? Uh, someone who just, you know, they come, they give you the message and they leave. Right. Somebody who was like this in this energy, you know, like the player type or whatever, uh, may come and uh, in with a message. Right. But watch out for any lies. It could be that whatever was going on was a lie or they're coming to you with a lie. So I don't know. That's first. That might resonate with someone. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. And also what I'm getting here is that someone, let me do like this better. Someone is, um, it's maybe hard to make a decision or something because they lied. I don't know, something like that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ace of Pentacles. You see that? A new start in regards to, you know, if once somebody, okay, whatever issue this is that involves this burden and this lie, or lies, maybe plural, I don't know. Once you get over those things, once you get over those things or get past these things, you will start something brand new. Something brand new will start. And look, and it might involve love. A friend told me I was delusional. I almost fell off my unicorn. So, you know, some people might think that about the tarot card readings, period. You know, <laughs> these kind of readings, you know, but. Oh, I, I see that you can't really see the Ace of Pentacle there, huh? Yeah. I'll just have to scoot those over, right? We'll just do it like this. It's a little better. It leaves kind of like less room, you know what I mean? So I can put more cards down. That's a little better. All right. So uh, let me get let me get four more cards and you know expand this story a little bit. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. You know the Ace of Pentacles right there? That's also uh, the World card. 
that's also the world. So something could end for some new balance stable beginning to start. But the, the initial thing here is that somebody's got some options that they need to make a choice over, right? And the longer they don't do this, the more burdensome it is in their life, right? Um, there could be, uh, you know, or, or here's another thing. You have to make some choices. Whatever decision you make or you made, right? This could be in the past. This could be something that already happened to you. That's how it could resonate too, you know? Uh, some decision you made was a big old burden. And so the obstacle here is not lying about whatever this is to somebody that you want to start something fresh and brand new with because you ended something over here. Now with this four of cups, somebody made someone an offer and that's why they chose that. Somebody offered something that was tempting, right? If your thighs touch, you're one step closer to being a mermaid. All right. So anyways, so with this kind of card here, somebody may have told or offered somebody some sort of sexual something like that. That's what I'm feeling here, especially with this Knight of Cups right here. But like I said before, you know, knights, they, they're just messengers. They come in, they do their thing, and they leave. Somebody was like this to another person, right? And it could possibly be this King of Pentacles, right? Uh, being a unicorn isn't about being real. It's about being awesome. So this person saw this other person as being awesome, right? And so that, that person chose this other person who offered some sort of sexual or I don't know, or maybe came on to them or something like that. Um, they basically, you know, schmoozed this king into whatever this burden is, right? And so now somebody wants wish fulfillment because, you know, they're thinking about ending all this. But we have someone here that may lie to get to this new start. And that's that that's automatic failure of the next relationship coming. If you start a new relationship based on a lie or because you don't tell the full truth, it's going to fail. It just is. But you can try if you want. You're going to do whatever you want out there. But that's my opinion in this story. All right, we got the Nine of Wands here. Somebody may have been enlightened to something, right? That doubles as the Sun card. So somebody may have been enlightened to something. They realize something. And they may be going after what they, what they realize. Or this person still doesn't see what's going on here yet, right? Somebody could be at any stage of this story in their life. You know, because, you know, the stories are so general. It can resonate with every. That's why I say it's always going to resonate. Something here is going to, uh, you know. I made a wrong choice in the past and was burdened. That for sure resonates with me. You know, the rest, I don't know, not too much, but, you know. I'm not around people, so very many people. So it's, it's not really like it, it can resonate all the way. You know what I mean? around my doggies <laughs> all right what do we got next so this came out next we have the queen of cups oh i just felt to see if it was two cards so we have the knight of um swords somebody's coming in with some information about the queen of cups okay now a salty pirate needs a beautiful mermaid this is in the upright. You know, when they say you're salty, you're really not a good person. You know what I'm saying? That you know, they you know, you lie, you cheat, you steal, whatever. But this person is, is coming with some some truth, some harsh truth, I think. And, and that's what's gonna help a person to decide about or to realize something later. So this king may have found something out about a Queen of Cups right here, uh, who was just there for, you know hooking it up and maybe getting something off this king of pentacles you know what i mean king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn queen of cups uh, cancer pisces scorpio okay could have these in your chart don't have to whatever you know um but so somebody came in all trying to be lovey to somebody who's got some dough and schmooze that person and they ended up in a basically burdened relationship and you know eventually somebody's gonna find something out with this truth about the queen of cups 
And uh, this person's, you know, what is this? Ten of Cups. So we have the Nine of Cups. And so somebody wants a new beginning somewhere, but they're not coming in honestly. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might be like, well, what have you been doing? What, where have you been? How has your life been? Blah, blah, blah. And somebody might not be honest about what has happened here because maybe somebody uh, was really schmoozed real bad, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what all this is. This is too many, I think. One, two, three. So basically somebody also uh wants to start some sort of new wish fulfillment with somebody somebody wants happy family happy home uh, i must be a mermaid i have no fear of depths and grace oh and depths and great of fear it says i must be a mermaid i have no fear of depth and a great fear of shallow living <laughs> Okay, so somebody, okay, we have two Ace of Pentacles here. So this person may have come in and, you know, matched up with this King of Pentacles because, you know, uh, I don't feel like this, I feel like this person, uh, somebody wants to start something brand new. This is a very uh, grounding situation. Um, obviously, you know, the, somebody here is, is with is you know with the nature or I don't know if they are very much or not because it's just an ace of pentacles you know what I'm saying it's like the beginning or somebody is deciding they want to be that way I don't know but then see we have a lot of messengers that came out today then we have uh, okay well look we have the ace of cups somebody wants to start something brand new in love they want to be grounded and balanced and all this uh, it might actually be they want to approach a queen of pen of cups you know they were dealing with one or they want to deal with one and get rid of whatever this was in the past right can go several ways this story right but we have the Knight of, of Wands here again. Unicorns are awesome. I am awesome, therefore I am a unicorn. And, and, you know, we saw this card already. This card's about being a player and coming in and out, you know, but it's also showing here this extra card that flew out is somebody wants to talk to someone about something. They sure do. Somebody wants to have a heated debate with somebody, you know, but we do have that there might be lies and burdens involved here. But other than that, it's a lot of communication. And so, and a lot of that communication is starting to something that uh, allows a person to be stable in their life, to have their wish fulfillment, to have a happy uh, home and happy life, to have love, right? And not to have someone who's in and out. So that's this is why it's. I feel like it's a burden here because somebody here, it's all talk. You know what I mean? There's some truth there though, but it's all talk. Somebody just wants to talk. Maybe somebody just wants to talk right now. I don't know. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Okay, the Seven of Wands. So somebody may also feel defensive in this situation. So that's about the lies. Somebody might be like, you know, hey, well, what about those lies you told me about this, that, and the other? So somebody might be defensive here, okay? So let's go ahead and grab these. These are the, um, what do you call them? The, the power of surrender. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle one time. I already pre-shuffled them though, you know what I mean? Um, okay, I'm going to do like this. One, two, three, and I'm going to take these two cards. Okay. You're supposed to like cut the deck and take it, but I want to take two, so I guess I could have just shuffled and let them fly out, but it's okay. All right. <clears throat> so the first one is surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard through the universe and answers and support will arrive. So I also feel like, you know, 
you know, go out and be alone. You know, you, you will gain epiphanies from, you know, just being out on your own. You don't, not with the headphones or anything, just, just alone, just doing your own, you know, your own thing. Uh, ideas will just come to your mind automatically, right? You can pray, yeah, prayer helps, you know. Um, but personally, uh, you know, and maybe maybe that's what's happening. Because, you know, sometimes I find myself talking to myself when I'm on these trails or whatever. But I guess that would be, I, that could be considered a trail because I feel like I'm, I'm talking to uh, my ancestors or whatever if I do do that. You know, but everybody is different, you know, everybody's different. So, you know, so you can do that or, or go into nature, I, I feel like is a good idea. Surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Okay. Don't deny these burdens. So you don't have to lie. This is what this card is, is telling to me. You don't have to lie. Just reveal the burden. You know what? It might be someone's embarrassed to say what happened. You know what, man? I've been through so much shit. I got some embarrassing stories. You know, why be embarrassed? Things happen to, to the best of us. You know, good, bad, whatever, you know, who cares, you know, and I'm sure you're not the only person that whatever you are, you know, feeling burdened about, I, I, I doubt you're the only person in the whole world that that's ever happened to, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but let's keep going. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions, right? Except people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties, right? Also, this is uh, reminding me of uh, something like, you know, you may see somebody uh, maybe from your past who is just a really bad person. And then you see them again many years later and you're like, oh, they're a little different. But, oh, they were so bad back then. You know, I mean, people can change, but, you know, don't take everything at face value. You know what I'm saying? You know, see what, what's going to happen first, you know, see how this person acts, you know, see, you know, do your due diligence to figure out what's good and what's not. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's what I have for you guys for this reading. Uh, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona's Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.